Ziggy, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 40 degrees and I feel like it's a full on heat wave. <laughs> like it feels like summer and I'm excited. Winter puts me in like a sad, dark place. But I think it's like, what's the saying? Distance makes the heart grow fonder. That's me in summer. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Look at me, I'm all summery. I was like, it's a beautiful day out. We had the patio door open and it's only 40 degrees. Anyways, we got a Trader Joe's haul. I have so many things. I always think I can fit it in one wheelie cart and I'm wrong, so I end up with a second bag, but I am very excited. We were just out of a lot of stuff, and so this is a huge restock, plus grabbed a couple new items and grabbed a few items that's like my first time repeat buying them. So I'm excited to show you ones that I'm like, this one passed the test, I got it again kind of thing. Let's go ahead and jump into today's haul. This I have never bought before, but I've really been into like open-faced sandwiches. So I just got a thing of the sourdough sliced bread. I like to leave a bread loaf in my freezer and then just pull out a piece of bread like once at a time. They go bad so fast. How quickly do people eat bread? Because I do not do it quick enough. This is really great. Actually, I say that I've never had this bread before, but we're gonna try it out. Okay, these are really great. These teriyaki seaweed snacks are so delicious. They just feel like I'm eating a chip and they're delicious and I love them and they're flavorful. It scratches like that itch when I want a chip. Plus I am a sushi fiend. So I like the flavor of them even more. Grabbed a thing of Campari tomatoes this week. It's not tomato season. They're like not great tomatoes right now, but it is what it is. And I grabbed a thing of English breakfast tea. If you didn't know this, your girl's a British citizen. I got dual citizenship. My dad's from England and we drink English breakfast tea all the time. And I went home recently and we were having our cup of tea and I realized how much I missed it. And then I never buy tea for myself. So I don't know if Trader Joe's tea is going to be any good for English breakfast. I feel like I'm really picky because my dad always buys Yorkshire gold. We'll see. It'll probably scratch the itch. I also don't have regular milk, which I feel like I always drink tea with. So we're gonna do it with almond milk. It is what it is. All right, new item. And I'm really excited about this one. This sounds really tasty. This is dark chocolate bark with almonds, pretzels, and sea salt. I do have a sweet tooth at the end of the night. I'm not like a huge dessert girl. I'm not a sweets girl really at all. But after dinner, I like just like something small to kind of cap off the end of my night. Dark chocolate for me is like one of my favorites. And I like that this one has pretzels and almonds because I love a little bit of like a salty sweet combination. I thought this would be very tasty to have at the end of the night. Just like a little piece, you know? Oh, mm, mm -hmm. oh my God, it's actually even better than I expected. There's sea salt, like chunks of sea salt too. That was like a perfect bite of like a sweet and salty combo to have at the end of the night. I'm excited about this. That was delicious. This is a win in my book. Okay, the other items left in this bag are just weird. Alex and I have been on a huge Caesar salad kick. Alex cooks me dinner for Valentine's Day every year. And this year he made a Caesar salad from scratch. And in doing so, he used a ton of anchovies. We love anchovies. They're just salty little flavor bombs. We have had that Caesar salad now twice because it's so delicious. And we bought four more things of anchovies so he can consistently make the most delicious Caesar salad dressing. Alex, do you want that Caesar salad for lunch? Oh, you're going to lunch. On my own again. Okay, also two bags of coffee. This is the coffee we just keep on deck all the time. It's good. Okay, wheelie cart. Oh, she heavy. This week for Alex's breakfast sandwiches, he requested them in bagels. So we got the six pack of the everything bagels. These aren't gonna fit in his breakfast sandwich maker, so we're gonna have to make do, but delicious, yum, we love a bagel. Oh my God, I went a little haywire, so I have a lot of weird shit in here. Number one, got some more honey. This time I got the honey bear honey. I don't know enough about honey. I don't know if there's a better one that I should be getting, but he's so cute. And he looked at me with his little face and I said, y'all coming home with me. I'm in a mood. I think I've been in a bad mood all day and this is the first time I'm like excited. And so I'm really rolling with it. All right, next, I have never bought this before, but it's one of my favorite things. I've bought it, just not from Trader Joe's. And this is organic toasted sesame oil. I love sesame oil. I think it is just the most delicious flavor. I love putting this on anything Asian. So like edamame, I made poke bowls last night. That would have been great in this. Rice, sesame oil. I love it. If you haven't tried it, highly recommend. Next, I got a bag of the mashed cauliflower and I got a bag of the mashed potatoes. I figured I'd mix them and give them a try. The cauliflower is really good, but it is a little bit wet on its own. So I was like, we'll combine them, see what we think. Could I make mashed potatoes from scratch? Absolutely. Am I really a psycho about mashed potatoes? 
potatoes and there cannot be any lumps in there? Yes. And I don't have a hand blender mixer. So I just bought these because that's easy. I don't even know what I'm going to make with them, but I wanted mashed potatoes. Also got a thing of the mini chicky, <laughs> the mini chicky, <laughs> the chicken cilantro mini wontons. These are so delicious and so easy. I just stick these in a bowl with a wet paper towel over the top and they are a perfect quick snack on the go or a quick lunch if I don't have a lot of time. The ingredients on them are super clean. They're low in calories, high in protein. These are just, oh, I love them. And then this one's a repeat buy. I think I only bought it once for the first time last haul. And that is this turkey bacon. I made this this week and it was so delicious. I didn't think I'd like it because it's like, honestly not very bacon looking at all but the flavor of it was really good and it was like a thicker texture, which I really enjoyed. So I was a big fan. Alex said he liked the texture more too and he felt like regular turkey bacon was soggy, which I disagree with, but this was delicious. I said the salsa was soggy. Oh, you did say the salsa was soggy, fair. I also got some smoked turkey to make some open-faced sandwiches, as well as some cans of tuna. I did an open-faced tuna sandwich yesterday. It was so delicious, so I wanted to be able to make more of that. This is another repeat buy. This is the kettle cooked chicken soup. It's like a chicken noodle soup minus the noodles. These can be refrozen and then defrosted. So that's what I did with mine last time, just because I didn't eat it on time. But it was the perfect thing because it's a really delicious lunch. And it was really nice to be able to freeze it and then just put it in the fridge like the night before I wanted it or something like that and have it ready to go. Because I have been very very bad at my grocery planning recently, but I need to be able to keep like good, quick, healthy meals on deck. I grabbed a small thing of the Greek non-fat yogurt. I have Greek yogurt in the fridge still, so I only needed a little one. I grabbed three more of the Barbells protein bars. I have been out of the house a lot around breakfast time, so I've been taking these on the go and eating these in lieu of breakfast, which isn't my ideal. I'd rather have like a nice breakfast at home, but in a pinch, those are pretty good. All right, another new item. This is olive and basil pesto sauce. I can already tell you right now, I am not going to like this as much as the vegan kale cashew pesto. This one looks very oily and I don't love an oily pesto. However, it has olives in it and I just love pesto so much. So I'm gonna give it a try. It looks kind of like a tapenade. I think it will be very tasty, but I just really like that vegan kale pesto so much. All right, another new item that I was really excited for, for my sweet tooth at the end of the night. These are slightly coated dark chocolate almonds. Almonds coated in a thin layer of dark chocolate and dusted with cacao and sea salt. I am very excited for these as well, just because I feel like most dark chocolate covered nuts or pretzels or anything like that are like so thickly covered. It's more chocolate than it is nut, which is fine, but it's just not really my taste. So let's see how these are. Oh, it's so small. Hmm, this is pretty good. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it is very finely covered. I'll come around. It's very, very finely covered, but it's good. Got another bag of the cauliflower stir fry. One of my staples, if you know, you know. I grabbed two more things of the oak smoked salmon pieces. I got this in the last haul for the first time. It was such a delicious breakfast to have this with like bagel, cream cheese. I don't have capers. Oh well, I'll survive. But I really, really love smoked salmon. These you can also refreeze if you want to, but I figured these would be nice to just like keep on deck. I bought a thing of the turkey jerky teriyaki flavor. Like I said, I have been running around so much. I've been so busy lately. So just be able to have things like that that I can grab and go really quick are really nice. All right, we have a freaking stack of the to-go Indian food. We have one palak paneer, lamb vindaloo, and three of the chicken tikka masalas. We would have gotten the butter chicken, but they were out of that one. So we just have three of these. Alex will eat these if I'm not making lunch or if I'm not home or something. So that's really easy. Plus I'll usually do two of these plus one of the paneer ones for us to share if I wanna do like Indian food dinner. Trader Joe's Indian food so good. I haven't had it in forever, but it is delicious. Another new item, I haven't tried this one before, but this is the sparkling elderberry and pomegranate apple cider vinegar beverage. They have two other flavors of this. Can't tell you what they are right now. One's lemon ginger and I can't think of what the other one is, but they just came out with this one. I've never seen this one before. Apple, elderberry, pomegranate, and grape. I'm just gonna try it. I wasn't going to, but I just get so excited. This one tastes the least like apple cider vinegar of the three. The grape flavors really carry through, but you can still taste it. So if you're not an apple cider vinegar person, you wouldn't like this, but the artificial grape flavor, I feel like it's artificial. It's not. The grape flavor is definitely the most predominant of the flavors. It's pretty good. All right, collection of random proteins I picked up. 
I got the ahi tuna steaks. I've been doing poke bowls and they've been delicious. So I wanted to have those on deck. Got the shawarma chicken thighs. I have also been doing Mediterranean bowls and I'll use these and those have been delicious. And then I got the carne asada authentica. This is really good. I did taco bowls a couple weeks ago. I haven't had them since, but I was craving them and I want to have it again. Another new item, which isn't super new, but it was not in my store until this time. The stir fried garlicky cabbage. It looks delicious. I mean, it looks like cabbage with garlic, which is great because I love cabbage with garlic. I've been really excited to try this one and they just haven't had it until today. I got a bag of Cara Cara Naval oranges. I'm, the sun's out, it's 40 degrees. I was feeling summertime. Alex got all of his burritos. So we have the chicken chile verde and two of the carne asada burritos. Okay, this meal has been in rotation for me for the last month and a half and I've been loving it. I get one bag of the barbecue teriyaki chicken and one bag of the Asian style vegetables with stir fry sauce. I mix the two together. I do not use the teriyaki chicken sauce just because there's a ton of it and it's pretty sweet, but I will use the stir fry sauce and then add hot sauce to it. Mix this together, do it with rice and the cauliflower rice. It's like the easiest, delicious, healthy meal that I've just been keeping on deck. It's been really easy and great to have in rotation. Okay, if you watch my other videos or you follow me on Instagram, you already know this is my favorite combo right now. I saw it on TikTok and I am just obsessed. I use the light string cheeses from Trader Joe's. These are great because it's eight grams of protein and only three grams of fat, zero carbs. Peel it apart into like quarters, stick it on a pan and let it sizzle until it's like getting golden on the bottom. Stick a pickle in the middle, fold the pickle over. It's so good. It's salty and these kind of taste like cheese curds once they're melted. It's my favorite snack. I've been having one like every single day. So I had to pick up more string cheese and then we got two jars of pickles because I'm obsessed and I'm not pregnant. Stop asking me. Just kidding. I only got like a couple DMs and I was like, guys, it's 2023. You don't ask a woman if she's pregnant and I'm not, and you also don't ask. All right, got another thing of olive oil. We were just out probably because we've been using so much olive oil for that homemade Caesar dressing, but it's delicious. And then two other proteins. I got a bag of the chicken breasts. Those are super easy to keep in the freezer as well as the salmon. I love things that are like individually frozen so I can pull out just like a couple of the filets. And then going into all of Alex's snacks, we got the jerk style plantain chips. The inner peas, these are probably my favorite one currently of the ones that he has. These ones are tasty. Plant-based porkless pork rinds. These ones are also really good and they're like a heftier snack. These are the giant Peruvian Inca corn snacks. And then two boxes of the fiberful granola bars. Alexander, yeah. you wanna come take a shot with me? Last thing we got, cause we are the epitome of health is they're so warm from being in your pocket. I know. They're supposed to be cold. I was like a mother hen. I was warming <laughs> no. them for us. No, we don't need mother hen turmeric shots. But these are the turmeric shots from Mighty Turmeric. I've gotten all the ginger powder juice a lot recently and I love them, but they were out today. So we're doing a turmeric shot. I don't think these are that spicy. They do have Let's find out. lemon and black pepper in them. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That was easy. Health. Health. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's haul. If you have any questions, as always, comment down below. If you have anything you want me to try, let me know. Holla at your girl. Follow me over on Instagram. I post a lot about all the foods I use and eat every day. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. I post a video two times a week, and I would love for you to follow along. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ziggy, fan off. <laughs> I didn't realize it's still on. <laughs> like genuinely was upset.